So Microsoft has announced that they're going to pay people's legal bill. But not just anyone's legal bill. They're going to pay the legal bill for people who use their AI software. So if uh, so, Microsoft officially announced, and this is on their blog, which is blogs.microsoft.com. You can go there. You can read the article in its entirety. Uh, it says, Microsoft announces a new co-pilot copyright commitment for customers. And it says... It is my Microsoft's AI powered co-pilots are changing the way we work. And obviously, yes, they are making customers more efficient by unlocking new levels of creativity. So I'll just skip through all the fluff and it says uh, some customers are concerned about the risk of IP infringement claims if they use the co-pilot, uh, they use the output produced by generative AI. This is undeniable given recent public inquiries by authors and artists regarding how their work is being used in conjunction with AI models and services. So this is mainly referring to the whole spate of lawsuits by various creators who have said, and I think I may, you probably read this in the news a few weeks ago, that they have said that AI, especially the uh, especially chat GPT's AI, which is GPT 3.5 and GPT 4, were trained on pirated, copies of books and other pay pieces of creative art uh, obviously that is very hard to prove but there is ongoing litigation so it goes on to say in the article that to address this customer concern microsoft is announcing our new copilot copyright commitment ask customers ask whether they use whether they can use microsoft's copilot services and the output they generate without worrying about copyright claims we are providing a straightforward answer yes you can if you are challenged on copyright grounds we will assume responsibility for the potential legal risks involved in other words if someone sues you for breaching their copyright when you have used microsoft's ai program microsoft will according to this article uh pay for your legal fee now there is a but in this and the but here is this new commitment extends our ex uh, extends our existing intellectual property and then indemnity support to commercial co-pilot services and builds on our previous ai customer commitment specifically if a third party sues a commercial customer for copyright infringement for microsoft's co-pilot or the output they generate we will defend the customer and pay the amount of any adverse judgments or settlements that result from the lawsuit. As long as the customer uses the guardrails and content filters we have built into our products. Yes, the, car, the, 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 the filters and guardrails. Now, we don't know what these filters and guardrails are. We don't know the extent to what they are. We don't know whether they limit the use of, uh, of Copilot or AI or you know, how they're designed. We don't know it. And, we, and because we don't know that, we wouldn't know if we're bypassing those filters. And so in putting this in the article, when Microsoft is saying, you know, there is a filter there. And so if you bypass that filter, you may have a problem. But as long as you're, you, you're using the copilot within uh, the constraints of that filter, uh, and if there's a lawsuit, then you're not going to have a problem because Microsoft will cover your legal fee and if, if, if and any settlement as a result of the legal fee. Now, how is that exactly defined? I don't know because we don't know the extent to how these filters have been added to Microsoft's Copilot. But they have a few more details here. It says, we believe in standing behind the customers when they use our products. We are changing our commercial customers uh, we, are, we are charging our commercial customers for co-pilots co and their use creates legal issues we should make this our problem rather than our customers problem correct there uh, this philosophy is not new are uh, roughly two decades of defending all right so it goes on and on uh, we are sensitive to the concerns of our authors and we believe that microsoft rather than our customers should assume the responsibility to address them okay i agree uh, we have built important guardrails into our copilot to help res respect authors' copyrights. We have incorporated filters and technologies that are designed to reduce the likelihood of that copilot return infringing content. Now, we don't know. We're not. We're not privy to what this is, and so it's very. It's going to be very hard for us to avoid the guardrails or stay within the guardrails or stay within the filters. So this is something that I guess is uh microsoft was 
putting a statement but not exactly standing behind it unless there is more clarification as to what the guardrails are there's a legal definition as to and there's, there's a technical definition obviously i'm going to assume that microsoft is not covering my legal fee if uh, someone sues me for copyright infringement if i'm using their copilot ai because microsoft could just could turn around and say you know this specific use of our copilot uh breached our terms of use and because you went beyond what the, how the filters or you bypassed the filters and because of that we're not covering your legal fee uh and so i'm on my own so at what point do i know you know that i'm on my own and at what point do i know that i'm covered so unless that's that's clear it's it's very hard to to to, to give microsoft any credit here um names all right so it goes to the complete article and the end they say uh, today's announcement is a first step like all new technologies AI raises legal questions that our industry will need to work through with a wide array of stakeholders. This step represents a pledge to our customers that the copyright liability of our products is our is on our shoulders, not theirs. Yeah, well, you know, it's all well and good if this was correctly defined, if there was more clarification to this, but there isn't any more clarification and that is where I have a problem with this statement. And I would say that Microsoft is kind of playing both sides. You know, they're trying to get more people on board by giving them this sense that they're covered legally if there's a breach of copyright. And at the same time, they're also saying that, you know, you're on your own if you try to break the rules, but we're not going to tell you what the rules are. Now, I don't know how this will play out, but I think this is very interesting, uh, especially for someone who creates a lot of content for SEO purposes. So for instance, if I'm creating a lot of uh, um, content for, uh, let's say bike repair, and a lot of the content is regurgitated content from other websites, and then another website sues me because a lot of my content kind of is like their content because that's how uh, ChatGPT kind of phrased the content and then redid it or regurgitated it. Uh, where does that leave me exactly? I have no idea. I don't know at what at what point am I breaching those filters, and so this is a lot of this is a lot of, a lot of this is up in the air, and I'm not sure what this means, but it's it's uh, it's, it's interesting, and I will definitely keep in touch with this. Uh, I hope you like the video. Let me know what this means to you, and if you can make sense of what Microsoft is trying to say here, and I will check you guys out in the next video.